My name is Laura's Brisky. However, most people know me as that girl with the boys in Ash. <laughs> I'm a senior at Centennial High School, and every adult I know has asked my preferences of colleges and possible majors. <laughs> this has led me to asking myself questions like, what will I do in my life? Why was I created? Or why will my life have any, or will my life have any course on the, will have any effect on the course of the world? Generally, at this point of this internal talk with myself, I start putting my down, myself down, saying, of course my life won't impact the world. I'm not some big shot like Barack Obama. Thinking this context, one can understand the negativity in high school students. However, most little kids in kindergarten want to grow up to be a, become a firefighter, an astronaut, a rock star, president, or princess. I know I wanted to grow up to become a mermaid like Ariel. <laughs> I would even practice holding my breath at the bottom of a pool. <laughs> so when exactly did this opinion change? As children, we are generally universal in our interests, segregating ourselves into tomboys, girly girls, or jocks. The boys want to play tons of sports while the girls join ballet or gymnastics. By middle school, kids begin to notice their educational interests and dislikes and branch out accordingly. By this point in my life, I had signed up for chorus in school as my mom encouraged, probably because she was tired of my singing of Disney songs. At church, my family was generally one of the families who snuck in the door five minutes late, so logically, my fifth grade brain decided to try and make the person in front of me think I was singing louder than the microphone. Not a very smart idea as it turned out. Eventually, my mother dragged me up to join the ass singers in seventh grade. I was terrified, but I joined. It's for me. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, the tissues built up my confidence until they were able to get an exasperated yes out of me for the Alleluia solo. Um, and so they pushed me up to their microphone, way too close to my comfort level. Now, five years later, I find myself bringing satisfaction to people, singing in church, because I love it so much. Since then, I knew I have grown in maturity, height, and gaining confidence with my voice. I have sung downtown in Baltimore at the Basilica, the Peabody Institute, the Meyer Hall, and the Stratford. I sing with Peabody Children's Chorus and Centennial High School Magical Choirs. As my vocal confidence has grown, I have received distinguished awards from Peabody's Institute of Music, was selected as a Masterclass nominee of Towson, and completed a Trinity certification and internationally awarded adjudication. Additionally, I am part of my music's honor society and was Mother Abbas in Centennial's high school production of The Sound of Music. Thinking back, I realized I have affected the course of the world. It may not be the same world that Barack Obama or Lady Gaga affects, but I affect my world. Everyone I encounter daily, and I am learning that I can do part of that with my voice. Maybe part of the reason I was created was to sing at Reverend Greg's ordination or Bishop Bragg's welcoming celebration. Or maybe it was I would, so I would have the chance to sing on Iona on a pilgrimage. Maybe it was to help Eric get a new generation of singers in Ash. <laughs> Who knows? I do know that I am 17. My life is just starting, and I have plenty of time to find my purpose in life, even if it isn't singing. Knowing that is more than enough for me. Woo!